Hi everyone, welcome to Elephant Robotics channel. Today I'm going to closely look at the performance of Microba 320 M5 stack version and Pi version and see how they work. Microba 320 is an advanced version of Microba products. It's mainly suitable for makers and researchers. The appearance has been upgraded to the whole robotic arm. Now it looks like a beautiful and powerful Python. In addition to the original white version, there is also a special all-black Microba 320. In terms of core configuration, great improvements have also been made. The old version had only one core, which is ESP32, and now the newly upgraded Microba 320 M5 stack version has three cores, and the Pi version has two cores. For Microba 320 M5 stack, the number of input and output ports increased from 2 to 6 respectively, and the Pi version remains the same, also 6 input and 6 output ports. For my Microba 320 Pi, it also has two 4K display ports and a gigabit Ethernet port. Let's take a closer look at the official video and see what has been improved. Now we will begin to test the official data and the first one is the working radius of this robotic arm. The first is the working radius test. Obviously the working radius reaches 350 mm. Then there is the payload test. The positioning accuracy of a robotic arm is essential, so let's check whether it has the same precision as the official data set. And now the accuracy is controlled within 0.5 mm. Before we start to program this robotic arm and let them move, let me introduce how Microba 320 M5 stack version and Pi version need to be prepared. Microba 320 M5 stack version requires a computer to be used together, and the corresponding programming environment needs to be installed on the computer before the use. For example, if you want to use Python to control it, you need to install the Python environment on the computer before you can run it. For Microba 320 Pi version, you need to connect it to a monitor, a keyboard, and a mouse to control this robotic arm. And you don't have to install any operation system because there is a built-in system in the Raspberry Pi. Let's test whether it supports Python. Here is the test for rows. We can see that it can be operated very smoothly. One of the highlights of this upgrade is the communication speed, which has been improved by more than five times from the original 100 milliseconds to within 20 milliseconds. Let's verify it by testing. In my opinion, both my Cobra 320 M5 stack version and Pi version are relatively stable and cost-effective robotic arms. Their advantages are as follows. The upgrade appearance is more beautiful. There is a unique pure black version, giving a strong sense of visual impact, just like a solid and robust Python. 
As a desktop robotic gun, its precision control is within 0.5 mm and it has a payload of 1 kg for movement. Compared to the other robotic gun on the market, my Cobra 320 is quite cost effective. In terms of the operation, the algorithm is also upgraded and the serial communication speed is increased by 5 times. The performance is more stable than the previous version, enabling this robotic arm to achieve more ideal movements and postures to meet the user's needs. The new version of my Cobra 320 is open to developing interfaces, such as dry motor speed and the current. In terms of use, we only need to install the libraries for secondary development. This upgrade aims to provide a perfect secondary development environment for users with many aspects of transparent data to achieve all development possibilities. There are still some shortcomings. We can find that during the payload test, there is still a parent jitter, especially when it reaches its maximum payload. Secondly, the compatibility to roles has to be improved. Okay, this is all of the tests of my Cobra 320 today. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up or share it to your friends. If you want to learn more about the robotic arm, please follow us. We will see you in the next video. Bye!